Capricorn, this is going to be your reading, your timeless energy read for your twin soul journey for February. Now, don't get confused. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you because all of my readings are indeed timeless. So whenever you find it, it's for you. I'm just here because it is a season of love and I want to update you on your twin soul journey. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to start with the Bodhi Tarot. I already cleared your space with the bell. I accidentally was still recording when I <laughs> cleared the space for Scorpio's reading and I thought I had hit pause and so it accidentally recorded the bell and so it's, it was a really loud sound. So it's kind of funny. All right, what do we got for Capricorn? Three cards for Capricorn, please. You will be my last reading for the night. Actually, no, I'm going to do a quick mini read after this, but it will be not very long. Rekindling energy is someone coming back into your life. Don't forget the lessons that they taught you. So this can be construed as either a negative or a positive. Um, remember, if you are allowing someone back into your life, Capricorn, my beautiful earth signs, that... You know, if someone taught you a lesson which wasn't necessarily a pleasant one, then you might not want to let this person back into your life. Do they deserve to come back into your life? Always ask yourself that question. Were they good to you? Did they treat you well? And if not, maybe they don't deserve to come back into your energy field. Again, that's always up to you. Is someone stealing your energy? Take some time alone, recharge, and take a break from the world. Watch out for people stealing your energy. So someone is in your energy field who is not, they do not have your best intentions in mind, Capricorn, and they are indeed draining your energy field. Spirit wants you to be aware of that. So there's the rekindling energy one. And then we have the, someone stealing your energy. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the messenger. All right. And we have, let's see. Your love life has been complicated, all for very good reasons. You must learn these lessons to attract the love that you deserve. So again, it's talking about lessons. Are you learning the lessons? Are you going to let someone into your energy field? who is not appreciating your presence, your energy. Remember, the, the, the whole theme seems to be um, remembering who taught you the hard lessons and who was there for you and who taught you the hard lessons that you don't want to repeat those lessons. And Spirit gave this one out. It came out as well. So it says, you're giving too much and not leaving anything for yourself. You may feel drained. Establish boundaries in your relationships. So again, another card of someone stealing your energy, someone crossing over your boundaries, someone overstepping your boundaries, and you giving too much um, of yourself and letting them drain your energy. That seems to be a repeating message for you. So I just wanted to um, repeat that because spirit is really hammering it home for you. Now, if this doesn't resonate with you, it, it will for someone else. So if it's not your story, go ahead and just leave it or just take the parts that resonate with you. But Spirit is definitely hammering that home for someone, for some Capricorn, okay? Because it wouldn't have came out more than once if it wasn't for someone. So, <clears throat> and if you're watching this, there's definitely a message in here for you, so... All right, what else do we got for Capricorn? Can we get three cards, please? It says, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And forgiving and learning. 
As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there's a need to re-examine the past and discover again where there may be some things that need to be healed as far as your relationships and how you have shown love in the past to people or even how you've loved yourself. It could even be forgiving and learning from, again, we have learning. Uh, it's like reoccurring theme for Capricorn. Learning, learning lessons, learning, learning. Um, Reevaluating some current relationships in your life, current friendships. Forgiving um, your parents, people that have hurt you. All of those things will bring you closer to your twin soul. Again, what lessons are your twin soul, is your twin soul teaching you right now as well? Um, I feel like their higher self is definitely communicating with you. We have, look, this is very much feels like um, a higher self trying to connect with you. Are you listening or are you just going through the motions? This divine masculine is holding down the head of a divine feminine it looks like, who is crying and almost praying at his feet. There is an overturned cup. Or no, that's a trumpet. Feels very judgment energy, like judging. The trumpet reminds me of the card, the judgment card. Where like, you know, the souls are rising from the dead and, you know, everyone is judged for their actions. So that might have, might resonate with someone, not sure how that quite plays in, but it feels to me, you know, there's an energy of like judging someone from your past who may have hurt you and, you know, the spirit is saying it's time to let that go because only when we fully forgive and learn to love those that have hurt us, can we fully connect with the unconditional love of our twin soul. So that's one of the major lessons and steps that you're going to have to conquer um, Capricorn so that you can move forward with your twin soul. Um, letting go of control issues, so letting things unfold as they will by themselves, which will bring you one step closer to this honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there's two, you know, separate storylines coming out. For some of you, yes, this is going to be um, some wonderful honeymoon time with your twin soul. For those of you that who do not know who your twin soul is, you know, letting go of the control issues and learning to forgive and following those lessons is, um, hold on one second, is what will bring you closer to your twin soul. One second. Okay, so as I went up and turned off my um, A-L-E-X-A because she went off, um, I just noticed that there was a card that dropped on the ground. I didn't notice it before. And this is what it says. <laughs> Love is in the air. You are attracting someone you truly desire. The partner that you've always dreamed about. So for some of you, those that do not know who their twin soul is, I feel like your partner is right around the corner. <sighs> All right. So let's go ahead and go on to the Love Oracle. <clears throat> All right, reading now for Capricorn. What do my beautiful earth signs need to know? Reading now for Capricorn. What does our beautiful Capricorns need to know? Okay. I heard my children arguing. It's really hard to work when their dad is, you know, sleeping all day and he does not ever watch them for me so they're always alone when I'm working okay so we have grass is greener and reconciliation <clears throat> definitely waiting on my divine partner so I have someone to help me wash my children <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding <clears throat> but I'm being serious okay so we have grass is greener just a hair some more that's bothering me I hate it Reconciliation and divine timing. One second. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, sorry about the Capricorn. I could not focus. There was just so much going on. Um, arguing, children, yelling, screaming. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm not meeting to vent. But their dad has slept all day yesterday. And it's all day today. He, we have not seen him for two days because he's been asleep. And he's not dead. I went and checked on him. He's just sleeping. He's been sleeping for two days. So I'm not judging. He's obviously going through some sort of depression or whatever. But, you know, we, we have children together. And, you know, I just feel like he's not doing his part ever. <laughs> My whole entire life not doing his part. <laughs> That's why I filed for divorce. All right. I'm not meaning to get my personal life up in this, but all right. It's just really hard to do what I love when there's so much distractions. All right. So we have grass is greener, reconciliation, divine timing. Thank you spirit for, um, getting us right back into where we were. So, um, in this connection, someone seriously thought that the grass was greener. Maybe they, you know, took off and did, things that they weren't proud of um and but then they realized what they were missing out on and see you know we say grass is greener when we think oh you know this person has or there's there's something out there better or this person has something that i want and therefore we go for it when we don't realize that you ever heard the other saying besides grass is greener the grass is greener where you water it so instead of watering their grass, they decided to test out somebody else's grass and it wasn't the right decision. But now they're feeling all sorts of regret and realizing, you know what, this is was not what I wanted. And I feel like in due time, um, your twin soul is going to be wanting a reconciliation, but it's not the right timing. It says divine timing. So I, I, they're not really giving me a timeline, but I feel like it's not the timeline that you're thinking. So um, I'm not feeling any time this month, but it does feel very close. So I would say before the end of the year, maybe within a span of three to six months, three to six months, it feels very, very close, but not close enough, obviously, <laughs> right? So for those of you that are in separation, there is definitely a reconciliation coming in at the right time. Spirit is saying it's not the right time yet, right? Um, and that's just the only message coming through. So I'm not sure, like, for those of you that do not know who your twin soul is, um, you know, they didn't really give me a message for you. So, all right, let's go ahead and keep going. <clears throat> Maybe a message will come out for those of you that do not know who your twin soul is. I feel like that was just a message for twin souls that are in um, separation. All right, can we get four cards from the tarot, the dragon tarot, and then we're going to move on to the roomy oracle and call this a reading. All right, four cards for Capricorn. I'm sorry your reading got interrupted so many times. Sagittarius has got interrupted too because my child went poop in his pull-up. <laughs> Oops, that one flew out. Eight of Wands. Oh my God, every single sign I have done this month has gotten Eight of Wands. It's absolutely crazy. There's been a whole lot of energy of... Wait, was it Eight of Wands? It might have been Eight of Swords. I might be getting them mixed up. Three more cards, please. So I'm not sure. That one wanted to come out, but didn't quite come out. It might be Eight of Swords. I might be mixing it up. Well, there's Nine of Swords. It just came out. Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords. Whoops, that one flew out. The Devil. Wow. So there's your energy, Capricorn. The Devil is Capricorn card, I believe, right? What else? So there's definitely some 
energy of something surrounding you that is Seven of Swords. Lots of swords, lots of, okay, so we have Eight of Wands, a bookend by the Seven of Swords, which Seven of Swords is the card of success, right? It means, I think, let me double check, but I, I think it's the card of success. So you are going to break free of this I was going to say the devil is, it feels like a very toxic energy. So this could be someone in your energy field who doesn't have your highest good in mind. It could be, I mean, it could be anyone. It could be a toxic family member, a toxic ex lover. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you, but the energy does not, I mean, I was going to say it could just be representative of Capricorn energy, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like there's some sort of toxic energy field which is really draining your energy and it's actually making me feel anxious <laughs> and sort of tired i don't like the way it feels and i am an energy reader i'm very sensitive see okay so it isn't i thought it was the card of success it says hope appears after a long struggle but keep your guard up you you face opposition to your plans and it would be wise to learn its source there it is there is a source but you can achieve your aims if you persevere and be certain of your facts avoid direct confrontation however instead let your ideas speak for themselves so like i said there this is your source whatever this is whatever this represents for you capricorn this is the source of your setbacks and your issues okay clear this issue and achieve what you want but there this is the source of your setback something or someone is holding you back and there it, it they came out like this so this 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 okay there is all of this sword and war energy surrounded by this devil energy you know and this was the first card that came out so gracious gracious the nine of swords says beware of tempting but false invitations so like i said this energy of Don't be tempted by the devil. That's what I keep hearing, okay? It says deception and even possible violence are worn by this card. I definitely do not like it, especially since it's right next to the devil card. It just... It says, but also bear in mind that adversity is the best test of your character. Just as a sword requires a fire and hammering to get a sharp edge. In the long run, know that all adversity can be turned to the good. So, as much as I don't like this energy surrounding you, Capricorn, I feel like Spirit is saying it's needed because this is another lesson which will bring you one step closer to your twin soul. I just really don't want you to go through anything, like, really hard because I love you. <laughs> I love all of you and you know some lessons that we go through are necessary and feel very unpleasant but I feel like forewarned is you know preparing you so if you know that there is something toxic in your energy field or someone toxic in your energy field I feel like you will definitely know who this person is and this person is draining you and you just don't feel good in their presence, if that makes sense. And so it is okay to go ahead and focus on you and to cut this person out of your life. You do absolutely do not have to entertain someone or something which does not feel good. And the lesson in itself could be if someone is making you feel like shiz, okay? 
you do not have to entertain them into your energy fields ever again anymore. I don't care if they're family. I don't care if it's, you know, someone that you've spent half your life with. I don't care. Nobody has the right to make you feel like crap. They don't. And you have the power to say enough is enough. F you. I love you, but F you. Get the hell out of my life. I'm done. And, you know, they said avoid, spirit is saying avoid direct confrontation. So maybe just slowly, you know, cutting them out of your life by um, setting boundaries, healthy boundaries, slowly starting to ignore them and slowly cut them out of your life. Do some cutting of ties, some cutting of energy cords, and do what's best for you, Capricorn. All right. So we're going to look up this Eight of Wands because all of these cards together, I've never had them come out like that. And it was very confusing and I didn't want to give you advice. I would rather admit that I don't know what's going on with this spread and read about it than to give you like terrible advice because that's what I do. I'm a channeler. But if Spirit is completely giving me a blank slate on this, I'm going to make sure that I get... I also heard in the hot seat. So if that means something to you climbing that mountain to get to where you need to go there is oh my god okay hold on I, I do have some channel messages coming through i didn't think i did there is a house and the nine of swords down here below the mountain there's also that same house well a different house but here and again the mountain there is oh, I'm sorry, the messages are coming so fast. So there is home to be felt. Home is is past that mountain. So get yourself over that mountain, my beautiful Capricorn. Fight this devil energy. Get yourself over that mountain of adversity. And home is right there. You can see it. You can taste it. See, it's right there. Just keep going. And home is in sight. And home is going to be different for all of you. For some, it could be a literal home. For some, it's home is your person. But I am a twin soul reader. It was, it's 2, 2, 22, 22 on my phone. Um, so I'm going to say home for you is your person, your twin soul. You're so close, so close. Follow these little breadcrumbs that I'm giving you from spirit. Um, I trust my messages so deeply. And so follow these breadcrumbs. You're almost there. Everything that you want is right on the other side of that damn mountain. Okay, eight of wands. The eight indicates sudden progress that is possibly too fast for comfort. Oh, okay. So yes, I was right. It's the, the card where all of the eight wands are like, and it's just like flowing with the wind. So Things are happening and moving at a very rapid pace. The energy is crazy. And, you know, we're diving headlong into this cycle of toxic shiz. <laughs> so it is very important to connect with your guides um, to help you to get through whatever this is that is on the horizon. Climb that freaking mountain. Um, allow the energy to take you where you need to go. And trust the process. Um, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. So your joy is on the way. Your home. Your home is on the way. That energy of home. Everything's happening super quickly. Remind yourself to slow down and take a breath. Because it's... I don't see it getting any easier. If that makes sense. I don't remember if I did the love oracle for you. I did. Okay. So the only thing left to do is the roomy oracle for you. And wow. Okay. So what is the last message that you have for our beautiful Capricorns? Your reading so far has been the longest reading that I have done. It was just 2424 on my phone. Um, I definitely don't cut a reading short in the middle of a message from spirit just because I want to be done or I'm exhausted or whatever but yeah I was going to do another reading after this and I might still do one but this energy is definitely draining even on my soul I can feel it so here's hoping Capricorn you get yourself 
out of whatever um, spirit is asking you to break free from. I am sending you so much love and good energy. And I just want to see everybody succeed. Enter the Garden of Delights, number 28. And add it up, and it's 10. So there's your new beginning, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's read it. Now, This, these I always read from the book because they are absolutely amazing. I love the these um, oracle cards. <clears throat> All right. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Spring is on the way. Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing out messages of love to spread delight with every sound? Everything in the garden is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make the earth green and alive as a haven for our life. What remains buried in the soil will always in endeavor to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawned to a prison or a tomb. So time to break free. See, again, it's talking about breaking free from the soil. There is a sweet spot when entering the Garden of Delights. A moment where the senses have gorged themselves upon beauty and become heavy with their fullness, slowing the mind so that it can perceive the divine beloved dancing behind the veils of nature. But first comes the sensual feasting. Blooming orchids arrest the gaze with their startling and strange beauty. Nectar from the ripest fruit of the garden drips luscious and sweet upon a savoring tongue. Hungry for gossip, the ears shamelessly eavesdrop upon the birds in melodic conversation. They sing of greatest, most passionate love and boundless living joy. The ears open wide to take it all in. The craving for touch is satiated by rough textured bark falling from the ancient trees, soft dewy grasses, cool in the shade, the crunching leaves making their sounds under the hot sun and dancing feet, and the caress of that sunlight upon bare shoulders with weight of its own like a silken wrap placed just so by a caring lover's hand. The breeze, the very breath of the beloved earth mother is sweet with scents of lavender and jasmine warmed by the sun father. Oh, drink it until your arms raise themselves to heaven, your head tilts, eyes rolling back in your head and your sacred animal body is mindless and in love. Oh my goodness, this is so sensual and beautiful. I love this for you, Capricorn. The garden of delights, narcotic in effect, lulling the senses from tension into sacred languor that love may be experienced. Let us rest here in the midst of such life where the goodness of life is felt and the heart is free from any prison of pain or doubt, come, be in the garden with me now. Let us be free and feast in our hearts content. Wow, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there. It's absolutely beautiful. Capricorn, so the divine is inviting you into the garden of sweet nectar and into the garden of delights. Will you answer the call back? I love you, my beautiful Capricorns. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, then please go ahead and do so by clicking on the description box. All of my readings are half off for the month of love. I love you.